Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to Try Not to Laugh on the Graham Norton Show. This is our fifth installment of this on this channel, and you guys have really seemed to enjoy them, so I figured, why not keep bringing them out, because I really enjoy watching the Graham Norton Show. It is a really different show, now that I think about it, compared to other shows I've seen. Graham Norton doesn't, he doesn't really interrupt the guests too much. Like, oftentimes hosts will be... Not their fault, it's just the show wants them to be a bit more overbearing and controlling of what's happening in the show, but he really lets them roam free, which we see with Miriam Margulies. That's the definition of roaming free whenever she gets up on this show. It's hilarious, but anyways, guys, I'm excited to get into this. Hit the like button, hit subscribe. Please consider joining the Patreon for full reactions to British shows and movies. Along with that, guys, I'm going to be posting the extended versions of all of the travel vlogs from my trip to not only Germany, but also Britain, of course. So if you want access to that, join the Patreon, help support me, I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, let's get right into this. Age sucks if you gotta face it. <laughs> but it is interesting because America is really Whoa. so youth obsessed. I mean, how, oh. and, and, and in the film you show, yeah. you know, kind of, that it is hard for a woman of your age to get the jobs. It's beyond difficult. The only jobs really left now for women, unless they get friendly with people to do films, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but the only jobs left are really commercials. I just thank God, my, I made my yearly nut this year on a, a product called Girly, which is for dry vagina. And it's, um, <laughs> is it here yet? <laughs> Well, if anyone knows the heartbreak of dry vagina. I think I've seen this clip, bro, but we'll watch it again. This is hilarious. I was, <laughs> I was perfect for it. I, camels follow me home. Oh, my God. <laughs> Three Jewish men are trying to rent my uterus instead of going to Miami. <laughs> And there's, <laughs> thank God for these commercials. There's one called an, uh, uh, Zestra. Has that come here yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's like women's uh, Viagra. Has that happened here yet? It's women's Viagra. And uh, they have this big discussion with me. Should they make it in pill form? This is honest to God truth. It was in the newspapers. Pill form or cream? Because. They didn't know which would do better, and they finally decide these idiots will do it in cream because if it's in pill form in a bar, a man can drop it in a woman's drink and oh. she won't know it. But if you're in a bar and a guy goes, So where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's always good to rewatch things. I had a very hazy memory of that clip. And I did not remember that happening. That's hilarious, bro. I still don't know who she is, though. Still don't know. I'm going to get this wrong a lot. Uh, Charlize no, Theron. No, I was just, I was back there freaking out. You're like the first person who said it perfectly. Really? Yes. I'll stop now. I won't yes. say it again. It's amazing. 15 years, and then you came along. <laughs> yeah, don't change us here. Now, by the way, you guys, do you know each other outside of being back there or on a sofa? I know John. And I don't know Steve. <laughs> I know John because I've seen him on the telly. <laughs> you know that's not real. I know, I know. <laughs> um, now, it is Jubilee weekend. Uh, do you have plans? Uh, anybody got plans for Jubilee weekend? I, uh, I didn't realize it was Jubilee weekend, but when I got here, I got in town uh, a couple days ago and was invited, uh, I guess, to sit next to the Queen <gasps> um, on the boat. No, you're down joking. The, uh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, no, are which you was joking? Sort of not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know her. <laughs> it's four it's like, hours. It's a long thing, and what are we going to talk about? <laughs> I don't own crowns or, or tiaras. Or, no, I don't know if you're I'll... joking or not. Are you joking? Oh, no, I'm completely joking. Yeah, oh. No. <laughs> he, he has been invited on the boat. I'm really confused now. Are you being invited on the boat? No. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Did you lie to him as well? Lie to me as well. Yes, John. Oh. It's a great story. It really is. I didn't even know there was going to be a boat. <laughs> and, and, and these two were thinking, how the yeah. fuck did they get invited? Do they know we have an Oscar? 
Did <laughs> they not know? It's just another thing you don't have in common with the Queen. <laughs> I have, now, Charlize Theron. Mm. Now, we're delighted you're here for all sorts of reasons. I'm but so happy to be here. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Seen in episode one, the doctor's thing. Yeah. Did that really happen? Yeah. I, my mum will kill me for telling this because it was my <laughs> our, our, our family doctors and I. I he'd been our family my doctor since I was a child and I, but I went to, as an adult because I, I was there was something wrong with my bum. <laughs> When you said bum, you looked at me directly in the eyes. And so, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm aroused and unnerved in equal measure. <laughs> there was something, but there on. was something wrong with my bum. And I was, uh, I said, there's this thing wrong with my bum, and he went, okay. And I went, so, what do you think? He goes, well, it'll probably be all right. <laughs> I said, well, I'd, it, I would really like it. I, I'd like you to just, if you could make me feel better about, the, if I feel better that it will be all right. And he went, it, um, it'll probably clear itself up. And I said, yeah, but is there any way I could be sure? And he went, ah, oh, you want me to put my finger up there, don't you? <laughs> Medically necessary. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the other, I think, I mean, maybe, maybe there's a reason, but what is the reason that you film it in the school you used to teach in? I think it's therapy, probably. <laughs> I'm in the actual classroom where I taught, because I was, just to keep the theme going, a real teacher for a long time, yeah. I taught for, yeah, for six years in the school that we film it, in the classroom that I'm going mad in. And I, that's, but that's weird. Well, that was my classroom, yeah. But you did it for such a long... Did you ever enjoy it? Was there ever a moment when you thought, oh, I like this? Uh, no. OK. <laughs> <laughs> but I met some very nice people there. And the kids must have liked you. You were nominated for Teacher of the Year, weren't you? Yes, I was, great. <laughs> <laughs> you were! I was. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, yes. I've told this story many times. <laughs> but, uh, Teacher of the Year is a very prestigious award that's taken very seriously and rightly by the hard-working teaching community. And my head teacher called me in and he was wetting himself laughing. In fact, he couldn't stop laughing for the first ten minutes. And he went... I went, what? Why have you called me here? He goes, you've been numb. <laughs> you've been numb. <laughs> I've got this... A Teacher of the Year award, you've been nominated. <laughs> And I went, oh, OK. And um, it was by a very sweet girl called Gemma, who I've humiliated many times. And it's a six-page document that people have to fill in for the reasons why you should be nominated for Teacher of the Year. It was blank, <laughs> uh, aside from one sentence that she'd written on it, which was the reasons why you think he should be Teacher of the Year. And she'd written, he's a well-good laugh and he don't make us do no work. <laughs> Haven't we seen oh more of you two God. together? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pairing. It really it's is. A it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, um, Jackie Chan. Yes. Jackie Chan. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I haven't done that once. I'm very. <laughs> super, I'm sitting on my hands. I'm going Jackie Chan. I'm not doing it. Because is it true that everyone just goes Jackie Chan? Yeah. I, <laughs> I really hate that, you know. I try, I try. You know when I, whenever I go, you know, in Europe, in America, especially the father with the children, look, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, why, why nobody see Robert De Niro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a Robert De Niro. Wow, Dustin Hoffman, Jackie Chan. <laughs> one day, one day, I hope people. Wow, that's a Jackie Chan. Yes, yes, yes. that's Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to restrain myself. <laughs> you, you just come from the, the Cannes Film Festival? Yeah, Cannes Film Festival. Uh, do you enjoy things like that? Are they fun or is it...? Just like business. The, 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 the whole thing about the, those big uh, events, they call all the, you know, particularly in Cannes, those red carpet things. And do you enjoy them? Do you like doing them? Uh, no, I can't do any of that. I really can't. Well, I've seen you. I did go, well, have you on a red carpet? I don't think so. No. Have you? I've seen you show up at things. 
Not much, to be honest. But, you, but you've, you've done posh things. You've, you've mixed with royal... You've met the Queen, haven't you? I have met the Queen, yes. I have met the Queen at, um, I think it was a, uh, one of those receptions for people in the arts. You should have been there, Graham. Funny, I wasn't. You were overlooked. <laughs> yes, I was. Yeah, because we okay. lost you with your dirty, <laughs> potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was... Well, you know what I was amazed at with the Queen? She's very tiny, which is something for me to say, because I'm quite short. And she moves as if on rollerblades. <laughs> she just slides up like that. As if no actual walking scar. I don't know what's going on under there. <laughs> she might be on casters, for all we know. <laughs> but as she comes to where you are, the group where you are, uh, for a start, you have to... You have to tussle with that whole idea of will you curtsy, won't you curtsy, will you curtsy? And I decided before, no, look, curtsying. It's, no, I'm not going to bow down before. Royal. I'm not going to. And then immediately you do. <laughs> immediately you curtsy far too much, too low, too low. That's really revolting. And then, um, of me, I mean. And then, and then the Queen says a small... There was a group of about four of us around her. And she says a very small thing, you know. So, are you enjoying the evening? And everybody goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if the queen t tells a joke, it could be the dumbest joke, the most unfunny joke I've ever heard. I'm laughing hysterically. I'm sorry. I'm laughing hysterically. And if I ever... Why am I saying that like the queen's still alive, bro? Damn. I don't know. I think the way she was talking about it maybe made me say that, but... Damn, now I just feel sad. <laughs> I guess that's what you guys go probably went through when the queen first died. That's crazy. Damn. You know, so are you enjoying the evening? And everybody goes like this. So the queen, I think people are just nervous or they eager to please, don't want to be beheaded or something. I don't know what it is. So the queen, I'm sure, must think that she's a great comedian or something. Because that's all she sees is people fawning and laughing at everything she says. Have you met the Queen? Yes, <gasps> I do. You met Jack yeah, Jack Jack I Queen. was in Hong Kong. I remember a uh, long, long time ago. Oh, my, my English is so bad in that time. I uh, remember when Queen, uh, raise your hand, you raise your hand, otherwise you're standing here, blah, 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 blah. blah. And you're Roy, what? Your Royal Highness? Yes, yeah. Your yeah, Royal okay. Highness, yeah. And then I have to remember, Your Royal Highness, Your Royal Highness. Then it's <laughs> when we're playing around, oh, Queen's coming, Queen's coming. Then everybody, <laughs> then, what, what, should I, what should I say? Then I see oh, the no. queen the, well, stop, 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 so quick. You know, dun, 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 dun. I said, oh, okay. Then when she comes, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Then I just immediately, like you, immediately yeah. bow. <laughs> Too low. She stands, still standing there. The people into the Jackie Chan, oh. <laughs> she keep talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> My head is empty. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. I just, <laughs> You know, honestly, I just go away. Go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Really. I, of course, I'm so happy just standing here more than like a three minute, five minute. But I just don't go away, please. Go away. <laughs> don't talk to me anymore. I, I don't know how to answer back. Oh. That says so much, too, because like people like this, bro, it's, it's everyone. It's, I, I mean, I can't imagine, bro. My legs would be shaking. <sighs> be crazy would have been crazy but um uh, yeah i <laughs> i can relate to that feeling of just you're talking to someone important and you're just thinking about how you could mess that interaction up the in entire interaction so you just want them to leave i know the exact feeling it's crazy me anymore twice if they're in new zealand he's hilarious though yes and so they got Caroline. whisked off. They got whisked off on a little um, oh, that sounds trolley. Good. That's, a, that's <laughs> a hell of a service. <laughs> <laughs> All I got was a glass of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> can we say whisked on BBC One? I think you can. Um, because you can't say whisked off. Oh, that yeah. <laughs> you can say pissed off though, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, all going down. I know. Yes, yes. Minutes in. Good night. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> now, uh, 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 did you drive yourself here tonight? No. No, oh, now I've got my driving li license. No, I'm still on driving me. Re would you get in the car with them? If it's a. Uh, well, the last time you did, you'll come home in a black Mariah, didn't you? No, it depends. <laughs> but now my husband is officially allowed to drive, yes, I would get in a car with him. <laughs> I know, yeah. Well done. It only took 61 years. But, but, I mean, in terms of teaching you, did... No, well, before I was too pissed to drive you. <laughs> yeah. OK, fair enough. I mean, I would go, go for my test and I'd go, I'd see me and I'd go, no, Mr. Osborne, come back another day. I'm not even getting in the car with you. Walking around the test centre with a bottle of ice cream in my pocket didn't go anywhere. Well. Did you learn in a manual or an automatic? I can drive anything when I've had a few drinks. <laughs> I've seen this one too, yeah. Is <laughs> there anything you can use yet? No. Because I've got to go. We should have the Blue yet. Channel, shouldn't we? Yeah. Is there anything that can go on BBC One? <laughs> Not yet. You've just had a promotion. It's all DVD extras. I know. <laughs> but it's a proper Western. I mean, we see mm. Tom Hanks gun toting, which we rarely see. Well, I don't have, I don't wear one. I am given one later on, so it's not like, you know, I'm not doing the rootin' tootin' <laughs> kind of thing. But I, 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 I ride a horse. And um, I drive a wagon, and I've discovered. So I'm not a I'm not a rider per se, but I did learn. I, I had a fabulous, got to know a fabulous horse named Wimpy, who was my horse. Wimpy was my <laughs> horse. And um, he, I don't know if anybody here is has ridden a lot or made a western. Emily has a couple of westerns under her belt, as I recall. Emily, my darling, how are you? How are you? So wonderful to see it's you. It's good to see you, Emily I'm a, Blunt. Do you know I'm about to do a western? Like next January, well, I'm doing a six part Western, and we were just discussing how allergic I am to horses, and I do every scene <laughs> with a horse, you know. I'm gonna well, be antihistamined up to my eyeballs. <laughs> do you have to kiss the horse? I do. That kind of <laughs> Doesn't that, isn't that what happens in Westerns? You make out with your horse? You, you develop an affection for those beasts. <laughs> uh, you and Wimpy. Say, you and you Wimpy. Know, you kinda, every morning you throw your arms around Wimpy and say, How are you, my darling little chest? Not, I'm so nuts about you. Which you sort of have to do because I have a feeling that horses, honestly, they would much rather live in a world without human beings yeah. climbing on top of them. Sure. Yeah. And they know the they're, moment they're, they're, you climb on their back that you're terrible at riding. Like, I mean, I've been learning right now. I'm, I'm in London now rehearsing for it. And I go riding three times a week, and every time they give me a different horse to see, you know, how you fare oh. with one that's more sprightly or one that's less of a Ferrari. And I got on one the other day <laughs> called Rusty. <laughs> My God, it almost took off with me. It was terrifying. <laughs> I couldn't walk the next day. Rusty did me in. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty did her in. Rusty did me in. Did in. Oh, <laughs> wow. Is that the name of the film? <laughs> That's one of your films. Look at you now, Sir Patrick Stewart. And you don't really use the sir much, do you? Uh. <laughs> or should I? Sorry, should I have been calling you? No, I shouldn't. Am I supposed to? No. Okay. But but no. do, do you? I take my lead from Sir Ian, I, whom we've both shared some time with. Yes. And uh, he is he is so phlegmatic about all of that, and and I, I just you know it's a great honour, but it's not something that I need to press. When you bump into another sir when you're out and about, do you then, do you, <laughs> you call each other uh, you, sir? Uh, well, sir, you, know, you, sir. Mu you must wor sir, roll in sir, sir circles. Okay. Circles. <laughs> sir circles. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that. Oh, I just thought of it. Yeah. This minute. That was an accident. Can I be the ignorant American and ask, I, so how do you become a sir? Um, well, yeah, Patrick, how? I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, you know, it's a case of, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, oh, my God. No, no, no. I got mine on the Queen's birthday honours. Mm. But uh, you have reminded me that I did have a Sir encounter only a few weeks ago in Los Angeles. A rather fancy, in fact, extremely fancy restaurant. <laughs> well, tell them uh, what it is, because they'll know. Um, it was the, uh, the, the, the Tower Bar. 
Uh, Sunset Tower? See? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. These guys no, are cool. No, no, I'm no, not no, cool. No, no, no. Say, say, say it again. Look at The Tower it. Bar. Oh, man, the oh, Tower you know, Bar. What? <laughs> keep going. You keep going. Keep going. Okay. Well, no, the tower bar is a spot. I, yeah. I got a feeling this isn't going to work out it's a quite spot. the way. I'm <laughs> um, so we, we had the four of us were seated at a table about 15 minutes later into the restaurant walks. Sir Paul McCartney. Wow. Good. Now, oh, good. Paul and I have a very slender relationship, but it's lasted oh, wow. decades. <coughs> I, I first encountered him in 1964. No. When his girlfriend, Jane Asher, then had told him oh. that I loved Aston Martins. I was driving a battered old Ford, but Aston Martins were my dream car. Mm. She told him this, and one night, yeah, we knew he was seeing the show. There was a knock on my door. And I said, yeah, come in, I'm there in my underwear. Mm. You know, like As usual. <laughs> well, I always... As green people normally. <laughs> I hang around like that, just in the hope. And, um... Come in, I'm in my pants. I... Yes. <laughs> I'm ready for you. <laughs> said, oh. Come in, and the door opened, and standing there was Paul McCartney, who I had never met before. And this was 1964. Wow. And uh, he said, Jane says that you're like Aston Martins. Here, drive this. Wow. And he tossed a bunch of keys over. That's pretty to me. cool. And it was an ass. It was his. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, do you want to hear the rest? Let's keep going. Keep okay. going. Okay. We're in. Yes. We're in oh, the so fanciest we're, restaurant we're, in LA. We're yeah. now in the Tower Bar. <laughs> tower Bar. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> Go on. It's a, it's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling less and less good. About this. <laughs> keep going. Oh, keep going. going. You're in there. So Paul McCartney's come in. I, I You've known him yeah. since the yeah. 60s. And uh, uh, he sees me and comes over, and uh, I stand up and say hi, and we have a big hug in the restaurant, and I'm very much aware that there's uh, all the tables are full and this kind of thing. And we talk for five or six minutes, and he goes and sits down. Five minutes go by, and into the restaurant walks Sir Ringo Starr. I swear to you, I'm not, I'm, I'm not well. making this... But were they together? Yeah. They were... They were, oh, they were at the same table. Oh, they were at the same yes. table. Yes. Oh. Um, well, uh, we, we, blah, 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 at the tower bar. At the, bar. At the tower bar. <laughs> that was good. Well, man, I am expecting so many free meals. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, we finish early, and I get up to go, and Paul stands up to say goodbye, and we have a hug. And as we have a hug, he says into my ear, do you know Ringo? I said, yeah, of course. <laughs> I've never met him, but I'm... He said, oh, boy, Ringo, come on, come over here. <laughs> Hang on a minute, he said, Sir Ringo, Sir wow. Patrick, Sir Paul. Ooh. Hey, we've got the Knights of the Round Table! You got there. Yeah, you got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did it, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I love that last bit. That last bit was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good one. This is a really good... This might be one of the best Try Not To Laughs yet, that we've seen yet. This one had me in stitches at times. So, I don't think you guys have to let me know if you want part six. We'll be doing part six at some point. Most likely... I don't know when. We'll see. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Take care, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.